Salutations Legion, this is Why You Merch, and today I have some new Lush uh, bath products. These are some of the Valentine's Day exclusives, and normally I have like a list of the products with me so that I can read what's in it and like sort of figure out what it's supposed to smell like, but I don't have that this time around because I bought them in the store. I guess let's start. And just sort of guess. I hope you don't mind that the heater is on. It's really cold in this house. Two of these are actually the same thing, so let me get them both up. These are the Mr. Loba Loba bath bomb, and I have two of them because I'm going to be giving one to one of my friends for her birthday. Um, by the time this video is out, I probably would have... No, wait. By the time this video comes out, I probably haven't given it to her, to her yet, but I hope she doesn't see this video. Anyway, these are obviously lobster-shaped bath bombs, and they have these little red hearts look like candy, but they're probably either Pop Rocks or Salt, I'm not sure. Um, other, otherwise, they're supposed to be um, to make the bath bomb look pretty, and if they are salt, then they're gonna sink to the bottom, but if they're not, then they might float up to the top and make a nice display. Uh, these are very simple, flat bath bombs that you can probably only use once. Uh, because I'm one of those people that cuts the larger bath bombs in half because the bathtub is small. But look at them, it's really cute. You can see the detail in the eyes and the claws. And I think definitely they're using their molds to their fullest extent now. This has a very gentle scent that I can imagine like someone who is a newcomer to this kind of stuff. Like they, they might like this. Um, it's very sweet. I think it has tonka in it. Um, it smells very similar to like a pink bath bomb that they have there. It might just be called the pink bath bomb, um, but it's not. It's not the exact same smell as that. It might be a new one. It's sort of vanilla-ish, but there's probably not any vanilla in it. All of the hearts on this one accumulated on the tail. Oh, some of them are falling off. I think they might even be candy, because they've put candy in their um, bath bombs before. They've put chocolate in there, and sometimes, uh, I think in the creamy candy bubble bar, they have um, like a candy flower. So this next one is the Love Bug bath bomb, and it it's not like an insect type of bug, it's like a buggy, that's the point. It has this nice color combination of blue, pink, and yellow. It's very similar to the color combination you would see on the Love Boat bath bomb, that was like um, an old Valentine's Day exclusive. Oh, now my heater turned off. And it's pretty similar to, um, I think it kind of looks a little bit like the rocket science bath. No, never mind, it doesn't look like that. But yeah, it has this little pink heart and a pink stripe going down the middle. I think this is going to make some really nice bath art on the top of the water because like all the colors are gonna swirl together, it's gonna look kind of rainbowy. Oh, <laughs> I just I just hit my nose with it. Why did I do that? Um, it's not the same smell as the Love Boat bath bomb, although it kind of reminds me of it. It smells more citrusy, like 
sort of like orange juice, but like orange juice that's intended for kids to drink, you know, rather than like real orange orange juice. This is more like um, orange juice with a lot of sugar in it uh, that you would get from a juice box. <laughs> kind of looks like eyes. Um, I'm really impressed with the molds this time around because they have some sort of distinct shape rather than just round. Let's move it here so we can actually see it. And since this is in my hand right now, this is not one of the exclusives, but um, this is the Revive Hair Moisturizer. It's really small because it's a sample, and um, I really like this. It has like a floral scent, but kind of strong. I don't- I think I can't really imagine somebody who's not used to this kind of smell liking this. Um, it might come off as too strong for, like, everyone around you. Um, and when I pass by and I use this, I can, like, smell it. So, I think everyone in- within, like, 100 feet of you is gonna be able to smell this. Because it's very strong. But this is what keeps my hair from, like, being staticky in the winter, which is right now. And I need it so that it'll keep my hair like weighed down a little bit, um, more like a like a hair oil rather than a moisturizer. I would use this after taking a bath or shower, so that um, you know while my hair is still wet, so that it uh, keeps in some of the water, but also um, like keeps it weighed down so that it doesn't fly up. Tasty Tosty bath bomb. I think they might have changed the mold for this one because I remember it in the past looking a lot shorter, um, like and flat, like more flat than this. Um, but yeah, this is your typical like colorless bath bomb. It's just sort of white, but it has these little roses. There's supposed to be seven of them in there, and the other two are probably hiding inside. And this is new. There's like some words on the on the side of it. It says, I choose to love and accept myself as I am in this moment. Um. <laughs> this is a solid bath bomb. I think all of these are pretty solid. These make some hollow sounds. It makes me think that there's like <laughs> nothing in the middle would be really disappointing. But this one would probably be good for somebody who doesn't like a lot of color in their in their bath. Um, maybe you have a bathtub that stains easily or something like that. This would be good for that. It has a gentle scent too, so if you are new to this kind of stuff, I would recommend this one because I think it's a very friendly scent. Like, it's rose and lemon, I think. So it's not going to be that strong, it's not like punch you in the face kind of rose, and it doesn't smell like old lady-ish. This is more like, like a gentle, almost powdery uh, scent, like a baby powder. Not really, not really like a baby powder, but like the intensity of a baby powder. For those of you who like staining your bathtub, I'm kidding, this probably won't stain your bathtub. This is not charcoal. <laughs> this is the Black Rose bath bomb, and it looks exactly like what I just said, a black rose. Um, this one is also like a rose scent, just like Tasty Tosty, but they are not the same. I can't even see. Hold on, let me move them down. This one is part of the Rose Jam family uh, of scents, and this one is more like a punch you in your face kind of rose. Because when I was taking this home, this is all I could smell in the car. Like, 
This is very strong, and if you don't like strong scents, probably don't get this one. Um, I can imagine the water would be very dark. I don't know if you can see it, but there is some um, glitter on the top there. It's like holographic looking glitter, which I can imagine would look really pretty with black water. Because um, it's going to look like the sky or something like that. Um, oh, and there's the Lush logo on the bottom. In their more recent, like, crystalline shape. Kind of looks like charcoal. Like, if you put this in one of those bags of charcoal briquettes, uh, you could definitely, like, mistake this for a big chunk of charcoal. That was blurry. Okay, next. Black Rose is not one of the Valentine's Day exclusives, but I decided to include it because it's a it's a rough, and it's it sort of goes with the theme. Now uh, this is the peach. I think it's called Peach Crumble Bubble Rune. Um, it's crumbling on me right now, <laughs> and I should have gotten the matching bath bomb to go with it because there's another one called Peachy. And it smells like this. But yes, this is a like a gummy peach kind of scent rather than the fruit. It's more like an artificial peach kind of scent. And where did the leaf go? It's, it's in there. So both of these sides are bubble bar. And on the inside here is um, some bath oil. Like when you crumble this up, some of this will be in there for extra moisture. And oh no, <laughs> that's staining my hands. But you can see there's some glitter. It, it's sort of like a silvery. No, not silvery. It's like a glitter that matches the color of the bubble bar itself. This is um, great if you like artificial gummy peaches. Um, there's sort of a mintiness to it, but I, I think I'm, I'm just going crazy. So we'll put it here. And last but not least, we have the Kim the Carrot uh, bubble bar. It is shaped like a carrot that is shaped like legs. Um, and they're sort of like crossed legs. It has a crotch. Um, yeah. Romantic. Um, has these little tendrils of, like, I don't even know what this is. I'm, it feels like a, like a corn husk, but that's probably not what it is. And I'm really going to be smelling a carrot crotch right now. Um. Yeah, this this is a, like a familiar, like I I know, like a product that smells like this, but it's not coming to mind what it's called, and um, it doesn't smell like the carrot bubble bar that they have around Easter. That has like a completely different smell entirely. There's something like play doh about this one. It doesn't smell like just straight Play-Doh, though, so. I can't figure out what it is. I can't really describe whether it's floral or candy-like or anything. It's just more like, um, Play-Doh. Like, that's <laughs> not a really nice adjective to describe it with, but this it's, it's good. Um, there's just something like, that, that smells like it could be made of wheat, but it's not. Like, I guarantee you it's not. So that is all that I have for this video today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you felt relaxed. And I will see you in my next video.